Hello everybody and welcome back. Today we will talk about the human transport system. As we finished the plane transport system in the last video. The human transport system consists of um, two systems, two subsystems, which are the blood system and the lymphatic system. Those two systems are greatly or nearly connected to each other, both of them, and they together carry out the transport function inside the human body. So we will begin to talk about the blood system or as we address it as the circulatory system. So the circulatory system consists of a network of arteries and veins and of course the heart which spreads all over the body and it's a closed circle because both the arteries and veins open into the heart and the heart pumps the blood in both of them once more and the blood circulates and returns to the heart. So it's a closed circle. We will begin talking about the heart in the circulatory system. The heart is a hollow muscular bone which is found nearly in the middle of the chest cavity and we will draw the uh, structure of the heart like this. This way. We have two halves inside the heart. The, uh, the first one is the right. And the second is the left. So in this, we are drawing a heart of somebody that is facing us just like I'm standing here. This is my right side and this is my right side and this is my left side. So it's not confusing when we draw the heart as if we are looking to a mirror. So this is the right side. The right side is separated from the left side by a fiber, a muscular fiber, which is called Hess fiber. This fiber separates the two halves of the heart. Then here we have our structure of the heart this way. This part is called the right atrium and the one down here is called the right ventricle. What happens is when the blood here enters the heart, 
through the beam, this beam is called the vena cava. The blood enters like this. Then the right atrium contracts, so the blood is bumped from this area downwards, here, in the right ventricle. And to prevent the opposite passage of the blood from the right ventricle to the right atrium, there is a valve here. This valve is called the tricuspid valve. And it's called a tricuspid valve because it consists of three flaps which are, con uh, are uh, joined to the muscles of the heart by tendons to prevent the flapping of the valves inside out. So, when this valve closes, the blood is kept here in the right ventricle. When all the blood is kept here in the right ventricle, it contracts leading the blood to turn upwards once more like this to move to the lungs through the pulmonary artery so the vena cava is a vein and the vein transports the blood from the uh, all the systems all the body systems to the heart while the artery is a blood vessel that um, carries the blood from the heart to the all the body parts. This artery carries the blood to the lungs. So the blood moves through the lungs and returns once more to enter the heart from this vein which is called the pulmonary vein. And the word pulmonary means that it's related to the lungs. And as the blood returns from the lungs, so this is called the pulmonary uh, vein. The same thing here we have also. Left ventricle and here. We have a left um, atrium. This is the left atrium and this is the left ventricle. So the blood goes from the pulmonary vein to enter the left atrium. We have also a valve here but this one contains two flaps, so accordingly, as it contains two flaps, we will name it bicuspid valve. As the bi here indicates that it contains two flaps, while the tri here can indicates that it contains three flaps. So the bicuspid valve is open to let the blood move downwards to the left ventricle then it closes leading the, all the blood to accumulate in the left ventricle so the left ventricle contracts to let the blood move once more through this uh, artery to go upwards and this artery is called the aorta aorta to the other body parts. So, this was the structure of the heart. We have um, four main things. The right atrium, the right ventricle, the left atrium, and the left ventricle. The blood enters from here, goes upwards, then enters from here and goes upwards and so on. So, and that, that's what I meant by saying that the circulatory system is a closed system because it returns from one end to the other end and vice versa and the heart pumps regularly 
along the wall lifetime in this uh, way. And uh, this is our lesson for today. The next time we'll talk about the structure of light vessels. So, until then, I thank you for watching and see you next time.